The Federal Trade Commission says that Americans lost almost $8.8 billion to scam artists last year. ABC's Melissa Adun reports that the latest scams uh, are tough to look out for. Regulators are always on watch for the most popular scams happening now. Earlier this year, the National Consumers League put out its report on the top 10 scams. Some of the most popular scams um, are things like uh, internet merchandise scams. This is where scammers will uh, put up uh, you know, uh, merchandise like luxury goods or electronics or fashion uh, or uh, medications at deeply discounted prices and try to get you to click through and provide them with information or send them money. Another popular scam is the so-called impersonation scam. Um, these are scams where the fraudster will uh, reach out to you, claim to be with a government agency, uh, the police, or maybe they, may, maybe they claim to be um, uh, a doctor or a lawyer who's uh, representing a family member who's in trouble. And one of the fastest growing scams involves cryptocurrency. It seems every day uh, you have people who are trying to get you to uh, send money to these bogus um, online cryptocurrency exchanges uh, with promises of huge risk-free returns. But it turns out all you're doing is sending your money to a scammer and you never get your money back. Fraudsters like to take advantage of holidays to scam people and also try to exploit bad news like natural disasters. We very quickly see scammers who uh, do things like charity scams or maybe claim to be someone who lost a lot of money uh, in one of these disasters, but they need your help to get it back and you'll get a cut of it. Experts say that we are all vulnerable to fraud. None of us, uh, no matter how smart we think we are, are uh, without risk when it comes to falling victims to these scams. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles.